Peak Brain is a gym for your brain. What this means is we focus on helping you optimize your resources of sleep, stress, mood, and attention. And this includes looking at symptom-driven things as well as helping you just reach the peak performance goals you have for yourself. Peak Brain started a few years ago because we decided that brain performance training should be accessible from a fitness perspective, not just to fix problems. Neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback on your brain it's a passive form, the way Peak Brain does it, where we exercise your brain waves. Essentially, we measure your brain moment to moment, and whenever your brain moves a little more in the right direction, we go, good job, brain, with more audio and visual feedback. When your brain moves in the wrong direction, we withhold the feedback. So this is a form of operant conditioning. You can think about Skinner's pigeons, not Pavlov's dog. The process of neurofeedback is an ongoing process of exercising your brain. We want you to come in about three times a week, and you sit down for about half an hour. And during that half an hour, we gently applaud your brain with audio and visual feedback whenever your brain shifts briefly on its own in the right direction. We don't force your brain to do anything. We teach your brain to exercise itself. And over time, over a few months of training, we produce permanent shifts in attention resources, lifting a brain fog, clear processing, alertness, and deep sleep. When you come in for a neurofeedback session, we have you sit down in a chair looking at a computer screen, and we stick a few wires to your head, usually a couple of ear clips and one or two on top of your head, and measure what your brain is doing moment to moment. So it's passive wires just stuck to you. We don't zap your brain. And on the computer screen, you'll see some sort of game, a spaceship flying or a Pac-Man eating dots. And whenever your brain is a little more of the right thing, moment to moment, we applaud the brain with more of that visual and audio input. So usually you come in for about half an hour, and sit and watch some sort of audio and visual combination and you get a little tiny gentle workout from the audio and visuals only occurring for some of the things your brain is doing. Since your brain likes input, it does a little more of that the next day and then we determine which direction your brain got exercised and which resources are shifting for you. So brain mapping or quantitative EEG is a process of measuring your brain at rest and then comparing your baselines to a database of a few thousand people and seeing how unusual your brain is compared to other people like you. So to gather the data, we put a cap on your head and squirt it full of gel, and then have you sit still for five or ten minutes, and take those resting baselines of eyes closed and eyes open data and compare it to the normative database. We give you access to your own brain information to understand the 10,000 foot view traits, all the resources of sleep, stress, mood, attention, speed of processing, all the things that help you be you day to day and perform how you want. Alongside the brain maps, we also do attention testing because the brain maps give us a very stable metric on how your brain's performing, but the attention test tells us how you're performing today. So we look and see if you're able to sustain your focus, to not be impulsive, and how your attention performance works over 20 or 30 minutes. And we look and see if your brain can stay alert and engaged when things are not that exciting. And so we test your attention for half an hour and measure your resting brain for half an hour. And then those things give us a good sense of where you might want to work on some performance goals. Clients at Peak Brain come in for all kinds of reasons. Often attention, stress, sleep, the basic human things we all do. But you can come in with very specific goals, including symptoms. We work a lot of people with trauma, OCD, PTSD, as well as physical injuries, as well as peak aging, as well as autism. It doesn't really matter what it is you want to work on. If you have performance goals for your brain, we can help you identify the physiological bottlenecks that might be describing those goals, help you understand the performance limits you're experiencing on attention testing, and then help you craft an individualized performance program to come up with ways to optimize all of your human resources, sleep, stress, mood, attention, creativity, stamina, laser-like focus. What do you want to do with your brain?